Natsuni Oswego captured this time-lapse video yesterday. Look at this. It shows the dramatic buildup of lake effect snow over four hours. As you can see, the snow created whiteout conditions all across that area. Now to new details in the deadly mass shooting at a gay bar in Colorado this weekend. The accused shooter, Anderson Lee Aldrich, is now facing murder and hate crime charges. Five people were killed and 19 injured during the rampage. Meanwhile, tonight we are learning more about the victims, about the hero who stopped the gunman, and about the shooter himself. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Krauth is here with more. Dan? Shade, police are holding a press conference in about 30 minutes from now where we should be learning even more new information. The mass shooter is described as being extremely well armed and was carrying at least two guns at the time. One of those, an assault rifle that was purchased legally by the gunman himself. We're beginning to see the faces and learn more about some of the five murder victims. Two of those killed bartenders who worked at the Colorado Springs Club. Family members calling them loving people with hearts of gold. Another victim, a woman who recently moved to Colorado. Tonight, a growing memorial outside of police lines as people struggle to make sense of another mass shooting. And that's what I think we see here. You know, this like growing monument to people saying it matters what happened to you. The 911 call started coming in just before midnight on Saturday. 92 Battalion 4 reports of 10 people shot. Let's make this a mass casualty. Five people shot and killed and more than 20 others injured. It's unclear how many of those injured were shot. I was bartending, making drinks, and then I heard like a like a pop, pop, pop. Once I looked up and I saw the the shadow of a of a, a grown man wielding a rifle. Police say someone inside the bar stopped the attack by grabbing the shooter's handgun and hitting him with it. The patron pinned the man to the ground until police showed up minutes later. They absolutely risked their lives. The owner of the club says they've been open for two decades and have never seen the 22-year-old suspect before. He's now facing five counts of murder and five charges of committing a hate crime. Officers releasing very little new information today and prosecutors sealing the gunman's arrest papers, saying the details could jeopardize the investigation. Police say the suspect was arrested in June of last year following a bomb threat incident involving his own mother. We have some ring camera video of the suspect surrendering back in 2021, as you can see. He was charged with felonies at this point, and right now it's unclear how he passed a background check to purchase the weapons he used this weekend in the first place. David?